Hi everyone, Sif Alchemist here. First of all, I would like to thank you for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your comments. It truly means a lot to me. You guys are wonderful. You guys are awesome. I appreciate your support. And I do read your comments, even though I don't get to answer all of them. I do read them. So make sure you ask any questions you have. It inspires me to come up with some video ideas or readings for you as well. Today is a tarot reading. It's a message from your ancestors. It's a collective reading. If you want your own personal reading, you can find it at sefalchemist.com. Link in the description box below. I offer other services and sigils and spells and rituals. I also offer um, knowledge of alchemy and esoteric sciences in my other channel, Occult Mysterium. You can find a link in the description box. Let's get right to it. Message from your ancestors. What do your ancestors want you to know at the moment? Amus arreini ach. So ralina li sumin akirech. Sun andres malen roch pikan shisaken ahmas sendres loraf pikamen. All right. Your ancestors what want you to know that you need to believe in yourself. You have the magician reversed. They want you to know that you have so much power and so much fire within you that if you know how to use it and if you learn how to use it, you will find peace and you will get to the places you've been dreaming of because they're supporting you, they love you, and they are wanting you to succeed. They care for you. You're connected to them and they're connected to you. And they want you to become more believing in your gifts and abilities. Some of these gifts and abilities, they pass down to you. But they want you to understand that the power you're looking for, whatever is whatever you're looking for, is within you. You have it within this fire, this beautiful fire. It's within you. It's very dark. It's very beautiful. It's very mysterious. It's scary. It's intimidating. But it, you have it. But you're hiding it because you're scared of it. And you're scared that other people are going to be scared of it if you start showing it off to the world. But you have to show it off to the world. Because that's how you become the magician. That's how you become the magician. And that's how you find peace. So your, ancestor are, your ancestors are rooting for you. They are also protecting you. They are making sure that not, no harm would come to you. King of Swords. And here, swords is the representation of their way of protecting you with swords. So, if someone is trying to harm you, for example, they will harm them instead. They're not going to let that harm reach you or come to you. That's how much they love you. They're going to make sure to uh, punish the people who try to uh, curse you or send you the evil eye. They're making sure that you're always guided towards the things that you love, guided towards the things that makes you feel good and happy, the things that gives you um, balance in your life, the things that make you show your true self to life. Because I sense here the energy of you are always trying to hide who you are and your ancestors don't want you to do that. So they're always guiding you to show who you are to the world and a lot of um your gifts and abilities have to do has to do with uh connecting with spirit and connecting to the dead connecting to the spirits that passed away hence why your ancestors are connecting to you because they are they don't exist they have passed away 
but you have that ability to hear them and to hear other souls who have passed away. And you're trying to hide that so much from everyone around you and from the whole world. But your ancestors are doing their best, so you are not going to do that. So you don't, succeed in, you don't succeed in hiding your gifts and abilities and who you are. Because it's a waste of uh, gifts. It's a waste of reincarnation if you do so. Look at these beautiful cards that came up here. We have death. Transformation. They want you to transform. They want you to become the new version of you, what you're supposed to become, that beautiful version that connects to spirit. They want you to understand that there is nothing bad, harm, or defeat, or anything harmful, any, anything that's negative. It's not going to come to you because they're protecting you. You know the people who get cursed or they, have, they get hexed and they have to seek uh, a practitioner such as myself to remove the hex. For you, you don't need to do that. You're always protected. No hex can come to you. Because you're very special, you're unique, and your ancestors are making sure that not, no harm is going to come to you. So they're telling you, go ahead and start your transformation already. Go ahead and start it. Start to take care of yourself. Start, start to change who you are. Start to leave the old version of you behind that's what this skeleton represents. This skeleton represents your old self, who's not you anymore, who's not meant to be you. So you need to leave it behind in the graveyard and you need to give space to this new version of you that's going to emerge from the ashes like a phoenix, right? I talk about this all, all the time in my alchemy videos. So they want you to go through this alchemical transformation because that's the only thing that's going to lead you to abundance and money and success. That's what's going to get, lead you there. If that's what you want, if you want money and success, then go ahead and start your transformation. It's weird when you hear that... Um, you're meant to become uh, a medium that talks to the spirits of the dead, right? But that's what I'm hearing from spirit. It's a message to you. That's what you're supposed to do. I just want to show what I pulled. Another major arcana, the Empress card. A lot of major arcanas here because you're very gifted. We had the magician, we had the death card. Now we have the Empress because you're very gifted and your sisters know that. You have this kind of uh, beautiful gift, this treasure that you're just hiding and, and it's, it's, it's being wasted. And it should not be wasted. You're the empress. Show it to the world. And the universe here came up reversed. Meaning that the universe is not going to help you. <laughs> it's not, the universe is not going to help you succeed in any way any any other endeavor unless you realize that your ancestors are guiding you and they want you to um, uh, embark on your transformation otherwise the universe is going to be closed it's not going to open new doors for you it's not going to help you it wants you first to transform it wants you first to show the world your empress state to show your wisdom to show your gifts and abilities to show that you're willing to become who you are and here there's there's nothing uh the five of pentacles there's there's nothing that's going to there's nothing bad that's going to come to you cuz you have a lot of fears you you think that this transformation is going to cause you your life your career maybe your friends it's going to cause you uh a loss some losses and spirit is saying no your ancestors are confirming that not nothing bad is going to happen because they're protecting you however the universe is not going to help you it's not going to be on your side unless you're willing to become the empress that you are. Bottom of the deck, here we had the six of wands. Because this is going to lead you to success, to glory, to happiness, and to 
this beautiful warm fire that's within you that's going to be unleashed to the world. This fire, it's so warm that it's going to warm up other people, the other people who are cold. They are cold as in like they are depressed, they're miserable, they're not happy with their lives, but your fire is going to help them awaken their spirit, awaken their gifts and abilities. It's going to help them warm up their life. So you awakening yourself to your true nature, your empress, and transforming is going to help other people indirectly without even you noticing it, without even you realizing it's going to help other people. Beautiful reading. Your ancestors are wonderful and they care for you so much. You just have to uh, listen to their guidance. Okay. Your ancestors are telling you... Uh, here we have the King of Cups and the Princess of Cups. King of Cups reversed. Spirit are telling you one way to uh, connect, to awaken these, this, this connection and these gifts and abilities. Because you might be wondering, okay, well, Seth, you told me all of this, but how do I connect to spirit? How do I awaken these gifts and abilities? How do I connect to my true self? Your ancestors are telling you connect to water. For you, it's the water element. You need to connect to water, to the ocean. See, both cards here have the ocean. So the, the water element is going to help you awaken that part of you, uh, which is going to lead you to your empress state. Um, it could be, it doesn't have to be the ocean. If it's the ocean, it's wonderful. If it's not the ocean, uh, it could be a river, it could be a lake, or it could be just any, any body of water that's nearby you. Go and connect to it. Sit there for a couple hours and try to meditate while looking at the water. Meditate with your eyes open. Look at the water. See how it, uh, see how the water uh, behave and learn from it. Learn from its fluidity, from its beauty. Learn from it. That's going to trigger something within you. It's going to activate a part of you that will um, make you... Uh, Ask new questions that you haven't asked before about life, about who you are, about spirit. So water is very important for you. And um, when you're going to be having this connection with water, here are the three of swords, you might feel a little bit sad in the beginning. You might feel this kind of like emptiness, this void. And uh, try to be by yourself. Don't go with someone. When you connect to water, be on your own. So you're going to feel this void in the beginning, but your ancestors are telling you, that's part of the process, go through it. It's nothing bad, it's nothing harmful. Even if you feel this kind of empty feeling, but it's necessary for you uh, to go through this alchemical transformation. So water can help you with this process. Beautiful, beautiful. The guidance is like, is like so clear here from your ancestors. They just want you to go through this. They want you to transform already. And one last card. I got this beautiful card here, which is basically, it's kind of an empty card in the tarot deck. I rarely get it, rarely get it. But it means that there's nothing else you're supposed to know. I said what I said, and your ancestors, that's all they want you to know. The rest is up to you. The rest, you will know it. You will figure it out. Okay? So this is what I have for you. This is the message from your ancestors. Thank you very much for tuning in. I truly appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section if this reading resonates. And I'll see you in the next reading. Shos mich rannen sind romal es. Ach, schuss!